Good evening, good morning, good afternoon, YouTube. My name is Vincent, and I'll be your host for today on our channel, St. Malo Vintage. Um, welcome, or welcome back to our channel. This is probably our fourth episode, and thank you for joining us today. If you don't know by now, I'll be reviewing a couple of our um, clothing items that we think are pretty much random, but um, we hope will provide some entertainment value um, to society. Again, you can find us at St. Malo Vintage on eBay, Mercari, uh, Grail, Depop, and Poshmark. Again, that's St. Malo, that's S-T-M as in Mansi. And M as in Mansi. What? <clears throat> M as in what? Mansi. What'd you think I said? Nancy! Oh. A-L-O Vintage. For now, we only ship through um, eBay internationally as that's the most cost-effective at the moment. So if you're uh, watching this and you want to buy something on our site and you're from Egypt or uh, Vietnam or even the Philippines, please go through eBay as it's the most cost-effective for both you and I. Um, so without further ado, let's jump right into it. Um, but first, we are from New Jersey, or the New Jersey, New York metropolitan area. Um, like the New York Giants, they say they're from New York, but you reside here in the Meadowlands, which is in New Jersey. Um, <laughs> But uh, I say that first because we have a probably early 2000s, of course, because it's a Vince Carter New Jersey Nets jersey. Um. Vince Carter's time, Vince Sanity's time with the Nets, eh, it was okay. I mean, 27.5 points a game, 5.9 rebounds. Um, made the playoffs a couple times, didn't really go that far. But uh, what drew me to Vince Carter, I guess, was his namesake, because it's my name too, Vince Sanity. Um, but also, it's, you know, that represent the East Coast, the best coast. Um, but nowadays, it's just following players, not even the teams. You know, before it was Michael Jordan and the Chicago Bulls, uh, but after he left, um, you know, people didn't really know where to go. So I went to the East Coast, followed Vince Carter, Vince Sanity for a while, mainly because the Knicks, you know, were trash. They still are, but they're making strides. Uh, Check this out. I have been messing with this team for decades. Lose another one. Uh, lately, um, before that, it was uh, Allen Iverson in the I think early 2000s um, on the 76ers. Um, it is an NBA authentic jersey by Reebok. Uh, for my bigger boys out there, bigger gals, it's a 2XL made of 100% polyester and made in Korea. Anyong haseyo. The uh, first item that we ever sold on our sites was an Olympic beanie, a vintage Olympic beanie. Ever since then, we've been finding Olympic items, Olympic clothing, Olympic memorabilia on our thrift adventures, and they've been selling pretty uh, regularly, pretty decently. That's why I bring to you a t-shirt, medium t-shirt though, of the 2004 commemoration of the Olympics in its home country of Greece. This is the front, this is the back. Um, yeah. I don't know. It just sells uh, pretty regularly. Um, people like sports, people like uh, their country, I hope. Now, while on the topic of the Olympics, it just begged me to ask why is the United States so dominant. Toro, what's the research? 
He must. At the Olympics. So I guess this research brought me to to the conclusion that it's just, you know, we're just that damn good and <laughs> we have a large array of athletes um, from diverse cultures. Um, of course, the United States has Mula has money which they can invest in these athletes and invest in their organizations. And of course, the U.S. has a wide array of ecosystems, you know, a wide array of flora and fauna which these athletes can train and better themselves. Uh, I mean, and you know, and the, the U.S. has uh, the basketball, the baseball, the uh, table tennising, and the badminton with the shuttlecocking. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, you're gonna have a lot of gold, silver, and uh, bronze. I mean, you know, Hot 97 is history. It was the first of its kind to represent hip hop and R&B in the New York area. Um, brought about DJs and uh, celebrities such as Funkmaster Funk Fl Funk Master Flex and uh, Angie Martinez, Old Man Ebro, uh, Peter Rosenberg, um, yeah, and um, the colorway, the, the teal, the pink, it was definitely more hotter in the 90s, the classic 90s colorway. Extra large, made in the USA of the uh, Screen Stars hat. I hope I'm not bo uh, bothering you or boring you too much with this plethora of useless information. Um, but you know, that's what uh, vintage clothing is. It's, uh, it's a piece of history. It is history. I'm more of a Power 105 guy. Uh, like I said, I'm from New York, New Jersey. Um, just because, you know, I like the Breakfast Club. I had some memorable interviews, like the one with uh, Birdman. Put some respect on my name. Put some respect on my name. And, um,. The one with Soldier Boy, where he says uh, that Drake stole his flow. Drake? 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 <laughs> Drake? I mean, not really much of a radio guy anymore. I put it on in the morning because of the Breakfast Club. But I mean, nowadays it's your Spotify and your Apple Music's and your YouTube Music's and your uh, Amazon Music's, what have you, your Pandora's, your iHeart Radios. Your Sirius XM or whatever that is. I don't know much about technology. I'm just the guy trying to make a living selling uh, clothes and stuff. I do this for Hot 97. And of course, we gotta do it one time, big time. Uh, you gotta represent the polo community. I mean, just start off with these collars. I mean, pointy as heck. You got the Grand Slam by Marcin Ware. You got that little penguin. Light blue, size grande, a large. Doesn't say where it's made. Oh, it does say where it's made. It's made here in the good old US of A. Um, made of 65% dragon polyester. <laughs> oh, Dacron polyester and 35% combed cotton. Yeah. Pretty clean. All the buttons, of course, are intact. Light blue buttons, too, at that. Again, I have to highlight the collar. I mean, it looks like a penguin, which is, I guess, why the penguin is their, their mascot. Mascot of Munsingware. The last of our t-shirts I want to bring to you today is regarding Native Americans, um, specifically the Tonto Apache in Tonto Basin, Arizona. Just the, look at the colors on these guys. Nothing on the back, unfortunately, but all you need is the front, I guess. On the Hanes Beefy Tag Tee Adult Extra Large of 100% pre-shrunk cotton fabric made in USA but assembled in Mexico. Um, 
I guess while on the topic of Native Americans, there's this, there's this show on Hulu, Reservation Dogs Must Watch. I believe it's on its third season. Yeah, third season. And it's last season, unfortunately. And I have to catch up on that. I'm more of your unknown warrior. Yeah, you know my name? William Knife Man. For the summertime, and also if you're a, an aficionado of Disney or Mickey memorabilia, um, doing some research, Splash Mountain is no longer open. Um, put more on the shirt about Splash Mountain. Mickey's all soaked. I mean, he's like, he had to take off his gloves for God's sake. It, 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 it's dry is not an option, and uh, that's what she said. That's what she said! <laughs> and you got this tank top on the Walt Disney World tag. Uh, extra large in nature, like I said, made in the USA. They don't really make tags like these anymore. I guess they don't really make tags at all in general. Because I guess this can be itchy on people's skin, people's backs. The last thing for sale today is a pair of Gap jeans. Gap? Yes. Gap. A Gap women's jeans. Um, now, the reason I wanted to highlight this is just because it's different. Sometimes it's good to be different. You know, stand out. Not be uh, one of the uh, sheep in the herd, you know? Uh, made in USA of 100% cotton, but just wanted to highlight a couple of things that were that did stand out to me was you know V stitching. It's not self edge, selvage, um, but one thing that stood out to me was the buckle back. I mean, what are you trying to do? You're trying to copy off of Levi's, the old vintage Levi's, old vintage jeans. You know who are you? But anyway. I just thought it's a pretty cool piece of Gap history. Unfortunately, Gap, in its collaboration with Kanye West, kind of didn't pan out. So I don't know what will happen to them. They're still relevant, I guess, in, in today's world. But, you know, that kind of set them back with their discollaboration with, with Kanye or Ye. Uh, lastly, and not leastly i'd like to highlight of course um the t-shirt that i'm wearing right now which is a piece of philippine history it's a size of medium but uh i gotta represent the uh the philippines the liberation at dawn um the raid on los baños Laguna, Philippines, occurred on February 23rd, 1945, and this t-shirt is just an awesome uh, commemoration of that event where uh, the United States Army Airborne and uh, some Filipino guerrillas um, liberated, you know, a lot of civilians and uh, soldiers. And yeah, this is going to be staying in the collection for a while, if not forever. Again, I'd like to give my sincere thanks and gratitude for joining us on our thrifting journey, thrifting adventure today. Um, before I sign off, just please remember to like, subscribe, comment down below what you think, uh, what you think about the video. Think. Thank you.